Okay, so now we're going to take this geometry that we built and just select it. I'm going to control shift C, pick a base point because control shift C doesn't work without a base point. Then um, I'm just going to open up something really basic. Um, I'll go like to my blocks. Uh, let's find something plumbing trim products. There's a uh, Nadura which is almost all in the drawing layers. So let's open up one of these guys. Let's do a save as. Um, gonna go to our project, Madrazo. We're gonna go to <clears throat> a I'm gonna in CDs. I don't really want CDs, so I'm gonna back up some here. And purge drawings for import into Chief, because I'm going to import this into Chief. So I'm going to put it here. I'm going to call it the Corbel Geometry. And we'll hit Save. And now we can just erase this. Let's see how many layers I have. I have thin. I'm missing a couple of things I could use. I don't know why there's viewports in here. Um, but... Um, those are easy to grab because I can go to like working and if I want some of my drawing layers I just go into drawing layers I grab the set control shift C grab the point go to my geometry control V drop it and there it is so now in my layer set all those layers that I wanted are there so now I have got the, oh, looks like I already kind of, well, let's go back here. Let's just zoom extends because I was looking to see if I had um, the geometry I copied, but it didn't come over. So that means I need to go back, <clears throat> find it. There, yep, there it is. Okay. Let's grab this. Let's go ahead and grab that back line that's there too. Uh, I just want the corbel, so I'm not even interested really in the main roof. So let's grab that for now. Control Shift C and pick a point. Doesn't really matter. Corbel geometry and Control V. If I want to, I can put it at the base. Zero comma zero. Enter and there it is. Looks like it landed right in the middle of my stuff. <laughs> Perfect. So we'll grab that. Mm. No, let's just undo that. Undo, undo, undo. And control V. Let's just put it out here. Much easier. If I wanted to, I can move all of this and then put that at the zero point. So I can go. Um, nah, this might be worth it. So. <clears throat> This is the corbel behind. I don't want any of this. I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that. And that. 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 I don't need the stuff from the original corbel. And I don't need the roof. Now this guy is probably a pitch on it that matched what we were doing. So let's put a pitch on it. Let's trim this up. And we have got basically a horrible geometry. <clears throat> so um, I can. I don't really need much in this. So let's just match the layers here. I've got my the object layer. Let's just make the whole thing, make sure they're all just on that layer. Because, to be honest, this stuff just, I don't need it. Zoom extents. Let's do a save. But now I'm going to purge it. I'm going to get rid of all that layer stuff I added, really, for no reason. Purge. Purge all. Purge all checked items. And we have got a clean drawing that's ready for import into 
can. So I hit save, so I save it in its simplest form, and close it. I don't need it. And then we're going to switch monitors. So let's turn that one off. Let's get this out of the way. Now I can't see what I'm doing. So let's click that button. There we go. Now I want to be in my chief. And here we need to be in a sectional view. This is the wrong section because we want to see it from the side. So I'm not looking for that section. I am going to go back to my floor plan. I'm going to create a new section going this way because I want to see through this stuff. So it doesn't really matter where I do it because I'm going to move it anyway. So let's just throw one out here. Now I get a section. Now I'm going to file import. the DWG that I just created and let's bring this over here hopefully it'll stay here next yes it does so browse I gotta look for the file I just created it is in this project and it is in city can't import is it in chief nope it's probably in AutoCAD purged drawings for import to chief so I purged it it's gonna be in here Corporal Geometry, open, and I could convert it to Paul lines, I'm not worried about it. Um, basically, I'll probably take all the defaults here. I don't need the zero layer, depth points, G-junk, or the viewpoints. I just need the object. So, turn all those off, hit next, uh, into their current layer set. So, it's going to not put it in CAD default which would be fine too, but I, this this allows me a little more manipulation because it'll keep it at its name and it'll be the only capitalized layers in Chief because Chief doesn't capitalize everything. So helps me keep track of stuff a little easier. Finish. There it is. So there's our object in Chief and it's all of it. So um, we're going to use these pieces and create something out of it. So, um, if I were to take that and that line, and then I were to make a copy of it over to, let's say here. Now, I can use Chief's version of trim. So I got those. I'm going to trim up to it, that, and I don't want to trim that yet. Let's trim this, this, okay, let's try that again. I'm going to grab those, I'm going to trim that, and that, oh, I have to do it each time, that's right, trim, I gotta grab my components, which are those. Trim that. Oop, didn't work. Grab those. Trim this line. Okay, doesn't want to do it for me, but there's another way. Bring it down and attach it. This I can do with this too. Bring it down, attach it. And then these are irrelevant because I have a copy over to the right there. So all I did was take this and I'm going to give it some thickness. So I'm going to create it into a polyline. So I'll grab it, turn it into a polyline solid, bring it over. 3D molded polyline or polyline solid. Don't use black backsplash. That, uh, that, that's a smart feature. Um, just do a polyline solid and bring it OK. We're going to ask us, whoop, we're over here again. We're going to ask us for a thickness, and it's just going to be a regular 2 by. Um, we could give it a material if we want, and I think I can check my plan materials for that green. 
forest. That looks like it. Okay. So, okay. And that should be in 3D. We're going to trust it for now because we got two more to do. So, let's grab this and this. And we're going to copy it and put it down here. Now, I don't need that. I don't need that. And this I can take up to here. This I can take down here. And then this I can create a polyline solid. Polyline solid. Okay, we'll give it our inch 1.5 and give it a material of that forest green. Oh, plant material. Uh, otherwise, you gotta look for it, but it's still out there. Done. Now, we've got that piece, that piece, so I just need this piece. So that one's kind of all of itself. So I'm gonna copy that, 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 and that. Let's hope I grabbed them all. It's kind of hard to tell. Sheets have been the best selection tool. So, grab this. Polyline solid. Oh, now I think I know why that's not available. Because if I look closely, I don't think this is joined. Maybe it is. Now it is. Well, let's see. About to find out why it won't. Polyline. It doesn't like it. Why? Why, 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 why? Okay, let's try this. Chamfer or join it to that. Oop. I don't know what happened there. That. Intersect, join two lines to that. Now look at that. It disappeared. Intersect. Let's see if one disappears. No. Uh, no. I don't know why that showed up. Just try and tie this one to this. That looks like it worked. This is all one. Let's tie that to this. Okay, looks like we're getting an object here. So this, see if we can tie it to this. And look at how that disappeared. Hey, okay, we're gonna leave it like that because I think. I just draw a line to there, <clears throat> and then we t let's see. These are on. Go to Mac. Nope. Sorry, I need my layers. Oh, that's not it. Libraries. Cat default. Project browser. No. I want my layer sets. There we go. So polylines are blue. That cat line should be red. Okay. So I want that to change to a different layer. Wonder if I can do it now. If I just take that and join it to that. Nope. Makes it disappear again. I can't explain that. But this sure doesn't look like it's joined, but apparently it is. Yeah, it sure is. Okay, um, here's a thought. Let's just see where this exists. It's right, uh, those are those, but I can't see the cat lines. Because they are in, da 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 da, -da object, D object, D object. Is it in display in this picture? D object, no. Oh, that's dark. We don't have dark, we got object. Hmm, it's 
berührt werden. Not in then. Let's go back here and see the laser. This is the object. If I turn it off, look at that. Oh yeah, it does go away. Okay. So. Display it. <laughs> I'm a little confused by this. Draw a line. There. To there. <clears throat> Let's see if we can just turn that and get a polyline all I would do. Nope. Because they're not on the same layer. Any labels. Um, <laughs> see how it turned into a molding? That's not what I want. I want a solid. How do you match the layer? If I were to take this, can I change its layer? Color, color. Let's try opening the object. Line style. And take it to uh, object, or sorry, D, D object. And then say, okay. <clears throat> now they're all on the same layer. Oops, I grabbed that there. That. Now can I do it? No, oh, it still wants just to mold the polyline. Inverted object type moldings. Layer objects for converted. Default layer for converted object type moldings. Same layer as original object, D object. I don't want this. And I don't have, these are all grayed out. I don't know why it's doing that. I really don't. So, um, got an idea. If I just draw CAD lines over this, Back. Let's try it this way. Um, I'm going to create a rectangle. That to there. Boom. Okay. Now I can grab this. I can break it at that point. And then take this and bring it up to here. And then I can take this, drag it down to here. Now I should be able to grab that guy and just move it off of you. So now I've got this object and hopefully this will convert to a polyline solid. There we go. I don't know why it was acting that way, but uh, it does what it does. Right, that's fine. Okay, we went to 1.5. And our material is going to come from our plan list of forest. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> now I have all my pieces. Don't need that. So if I go back to my recap, where is recap at? Recap's behind here. So here's recap. I've got two of these outer pieces around one inner for each of those. So when we create this object, this and this actually merge. They don't really, um, they're in the same plane and those two lines won't exist. So I wonder if I can just grab that, hit my trim and just kind of make it look like that because that's what it's going to be and just to help me visually it's no no real effect so here i'm going to grab this i'm going to do a point to point move i'm going to grab it from that point move it to the other point that's similar so from here i'm going to take it move it to there then this one's in the same plane same deal point to point move point there to there. Now, here's something I haven't done in Chief yet, which 
just Boolean commands. They should be down in here. The Boolean commands are things like subtract, union. In this case, I want a union. I'm going to just use CAD tools. View. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to look this up so I can show it properly. That wastes too much time. All right, we're going to try something a little different here. Um, just looking over some videos real quick. And oh, come on. I just want to grab that. Why did I create a box? Delete. Okay. Here, I'm going to grab that. I'm going to explode it. I'll take it out of its polyline solid state. Same with that. Because I want these two together, um, I'm just going to put them in this position. So, if I were to take this and block it. Now it's a block card. It's kind of its own independent object. So this, I'm going to do a point to point. We're going to see what's going to happen. One thing about Chief is sometimes it gets very confused with stuff you lay over each other. And then this, I'm going to do point to point. That. We can't do it there because I made that line disappear. So let's do point to point here to here. And I missed. So point to point, I want to get that just right. Oh boy, it doesn't want to grab that point. Let's try to go out here. Let's try it again. Point to point. That. There. There we go. All right. So now that it's here, I'm going to take this object and just move it out of the way. What I'm looking to do is I'm going to try and make these into one object. And so I've got uh, the and merge. So we're going to merge these two with this. No, we don't want to retain. Oh, look at that. Control Z. So I want to retain the original apparently. Let's see. What's this one? Subtraction. Don't want that. Union. No, I do want that. With this. Would you like to? Yes. So, this. Let's move it away and see what we got. Is it, is, that is now one object. Right? Oh, it still has lines in it. Why? Let's just try this trim thing. Bink. Okay. So let's go here, or sorry, here, and let's trim out that. There we go. That's what I was after. Now, let's turn that into a polyline solid. And polyline. Okay. 1.5. And our material. To the four screen plan. Four screen. Okay, and we have that piece. So now this piece and this piece, they just kind of get stuck together, um, and we'll block them. So for now, I just need an alignment, really. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to point to point it, so I know where to place this and point to point. So I'm going to point to point that to there, and then I'm going to point to point that there to there. Ooh, it looks like I missed. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to control Z because sometimes when you're that close, it makes it harder. So this point to point from there. And it doesn't want to grab it. It's not grabbing it. Let's try a different point. So let's try point to point that one. Let's see if it'll snap. It doesn't want to snap there either. Uh, we 
We'll get it close. Really close. See, now you can see it's barely off. What happens when I do it from this close? Just wondering. This is a kind of a non-critical thing, but uh, it's it still didn't snap to it, but now it's definitely really close. So I have this object that was back there. So now what I want to do is look at it from the top. So plan view. Where is it? That's camera. That's not it. There they are. So, what I've got is something that needs to move an inch and a half in one way and then get copied. So, we're going to move this in the X direction, 1.5, and say OK. So now that, I am guessing is the more complex object just because of the number of lines. So this is the one that is in the middle, and I've got two of these, one on each side. So this one I need to copy, and then I need to mirror it around the middle of that sucker. Will it grab it? Uh, it doesn't look like it. I'll try it. Oh, it did it. Okay. Let's see what we got. We come in on this thing. Look at that. Look at that. All right, we got ourselves a corbel. And that should fit right up in there. And just to look what we're doing two outers, one inner, and we've got it. So now we have our polyline sort of solid corbel that we're going to put underneath that section of roof over there. So that's just a matter of turning it around putting it in the right place, all that kind of jazz. Oh, the one thing I can do before we go away is take that, that, and that, and let's block them. Now this is one object i got to deal with. So I can move it, I can rotate it, I can do anything with it. I don't have to... I don't know why it didn't go anywhere. Now I can't even select it. <clears throat> Did I lock it somehow? It's moving. Let's go into the overview. Take a look at it. And I'm going to grab it. Rotate it 190, 180. <laughs> Move it over. We can do some point-to-point -point stuff with it eventually. Let's get it close, though. Close, though. And then we'll start to take a look at the sides and see where it's, see how it's really down low. So I'm going to move it up and get it in position. And, and we'll get her nice and snugged up in there. It looks like this piece of the top. That's... Is that the way that really was? Well, that goes up into the roof system to, to meet up with the upper roof. So that'll just get stuffed into the um, into the upper that upper roof portion. So, but that's the way it was. Uh, that's the way it was made. So, there's our video of making a corbel.